Hey, everybody. Let's just let this thing wind up here. We're doing a live, a little live gathering here, hanging out. Where's the chat? There's the chat. I gotta get the chat lined up here. Yo, thank you so much for the congrats. Yeah, I want to thank you for subscribing, though. This is amazing. I can't believe that there's so many people interested in, in, in cowboy boots. We've made such a connection, you know? This is this is really cool, because I feel like uh, it's a completely normal thing to be around people that you just get, you know? And in Seattle, there's not very many people who just get wearing cowboy boots. So to bring this online and connect with all you guys is like the best. Thanks, NC Hobbies. You are the best for subscribing. Oh, I think I'm just going to uh, hang out here. We could talk about uh, it's it's over on Thursday, so this next this next Thursday is uh, is going to be the drawing, and maybe I'll do it live and we'll do something like this, or uh, maybe I'll just record it. We'll see. Governor Brown, it's good chatting. Me and me and Governor Brown just had a good phone call. Man, it's it's incredible how you can relate with with people uh, just over boots. You know, it's 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 really cool. Governor Brown, thanks again for chatting. I've never bought Laredo. What about you, Governor Brown? <laughs> Governor Brown's got like he's got so many different kinds of boots, so many kinds of uh, different styles and and brands. All right, here. I'm just going to I'm just going to clean these boots off a little bit. Uh you looking at a pair of Laredo? What what are you looking at getting? What model number? I want to see if if we can pull it up. What model number are you looking at getting? The best pointed toe cowboy boots on a budget. How pointy are you trying to get? Like snip toe or Sendra pointy? There's a couple of different ways that you could go there, right? Laredo trucker boots. Let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can find them. Laredo trucking boots. The trucker boot. Oh, that looks cool. Not a bad price either. What color are you thinking about getting? You know what? Let me see if I can pull this up. I'm going to try to add this into the stream. These, you like, you like this point? This is a round toe. Uh, are you talking about like this, this kind of pointed toe? Hey man, thank you, Bart. I appreciate it. Those are the ones you try to, you're thinking about getting, huh? The best pointed toe. Laredo trucker boots and tan. I want to see if I could bring these up, because uh, that would be cool. So just give me a second. I'm going to try to put it here on the screen. Uh, file. Okay, show. We're going to show. Boom, boom, boom. This is interesting. So I'm going to try to pull up these Laredo trucker boots for everybody to see on the stream that you're thinking about getting. They look good, and I want to show everybody what they look like. All right, so I, I can't read your comments right now, just so you know, because I'm in a different screen trying to pull this up. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Preferences is what we need. This is going to be new. This is going to be different, but I want to see if I can add in. Oh, that's right. I want to add one down here. It's going to be a. It's going to be a browser window, I think. I think I can just put this. Let's see here.
This is interesting. So he's got. Is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? It works. Sweet. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> All right. So I don't know why it's doing that, but here's the here's the Laredo boot. I can't get it in tan. One second. Let me uh, let me get the image here. Oh, it's got a nice rubber sole on it too. Here, let me try something else. We're gonna get rid of this. Yeah. Okay, so we got window capture. I don't know what window capture you get. So let's see here. We got window chrome. Here it is. Boom. This is something new that I'm doing here, guys, so just bear with me for a second. All right, all right. So, you got the tan one. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. The black one. Yo, Christopher, how's it going? Good to see you. And... Victor, you're thinking about getting... Oh, no way, Victor. Dude. Okay. These are incredible boots that you guys are thinking about getting. Wow. So, it was... Eth, your tan one, tan brown ones, those look great. Let's see, let's see what Victor's got planned here. Are you guys ready for this? This is crazy. You guys ready for this? Here it comes. Look at these. Wow. Those gotta be like, uh, what are they? Is that Cayman or is that printed? What is it? I can't read the... I can't read this language. I'm going to translate it. You got leather. So this is this is maybe stamped. Whoa, they look so good. Wow. Grinders. That's what I'm talking about, man. Nice. <laughs> Looks so good. You guys got some style. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? How's it going? Thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for subscribing. That's what I wanted to do this. I just wanted to hang out with you guys because you guys are the best. 1,000 subscribers? That's nuts. That's so cool. Wow. Victor, aren't uh, Governor Brown, aren't they so cool? Yeah, I. they looked stamped, but who cares, man? They look amazing. They look amazing. I'm going to bring them back up. So I'm going to bring them back up. Jeez, look at that. Incredible. Incredible. <sighs> Woo! With a nice toe on that, too. Great. Dude. Spectacular. Grinders. <laughs> I love it. Love it. What's up? Nikona is a good brand. Yeah. It's the brand that you bought your first pair. What what model number is? I'm gonna um I'm gonna I'm looking up a whole bunch of different kinds, Tyler. Hey, Governor Brown, the link is in the chat here. If you wanna go do if you wanna do it, it's it's what 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 uh what country are you coming from, uh Victor? What is that? Uh, dot D E. So maybe maybe you might have a hard time getting it, Governor Brown. I don't know, but geez, you know it's not a bad price either. 
If that's, yeah, euros, that's not a bad price at all. Looks so good. It was German. Yeah, that's great. Tyler, let us know what uh, what brand you're thinking about getting. I wanna I wanna see. I'm look. We're we're uh, we're sharing boot styles here. Let me know if the music gets too loud or anything. Uh oh. And see, Javi's got a link for us. Here we go. Here we go. You guys ready for this? Here's NC Hobby's boot. Old West Western Distressed Leather. That is a simple looking awesome boot right there. That is a boot for everything. Nice. Old West. Cool. 13 in shaft. Oh, composition outsoles. Distressed leather shaft uppers. Cool. Nice. That's going to be good. That's going to be a good. Is that going to be your first boot? Your first boot ever? Because uh, that's, oh no, what you got right now? Do you have another Old West? You like that brand? One, what do you have? You got the uh, Old West? I've never tried Old West before, so I don't know, I don't know what they're like. Yeah, give me a, get a link. Anybody else got boots they want to share that they're thinking about getting? I'm wondering, I'm wondering what that Old West style is like. Anybody else have, uh, have experience with the Old West brand? Right? Yeah, why not? Yeah, give me a link. Give me a link, guys. Bring this down a little bit more here. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is fun. Thank you so much for subscribing, everybody. This is great. Boom. This is what I need. This is what I need in my life. Okay, we're getting this chat started. This is so much easier. Okay. NC Hobby's back in. Back in with another boot barn here. Oh, you're, you got some Laredos. Okay, somebody was just asking about Laredo, Laredos. Malka, relax. That's my dog, everybody. Malka, stop. Okay, so we got some Laredos. Whoa, dude. Those are incredible. Wow. Those are great boots. <laughs> Be quiet, Malka. We're trying to have a good conversation here about cowboy boots. She's so sensitive. <laughs> Dude, those are great boots. They're really comfy. So, let's see. Eth was, uh, you were thinking about Laredos, right? You got the tan brown Laredos, and you're thinking they're really comfy. So, uh, I think we got a, I think we got ourselves a good testimonial here. If you're thinking about getting those truckers, trucker boots. Yeah. That's a testimonial right there. Hooking it up. Oh man, there are so many cool boots out there. That that one that I shared on the the the, the video where I did the uh, shining of the Tacovas, the, at the end of that one, the horn, the hornback, blue, alligator ones, <sighs> guys, they just look so good. I wish I could have those. Maybe someday. I really like those sort of colored foots, the colored vamps. How do you guys feel about like blue colored vamps or, you know, other kinds of colors that aren't brown, white, blue?
black, you know, the normal colors that we see everywhere. When you get this blue boot, like bright blue alligator, how do you guys feel about some of those colors that are out there? Nice, yes. 13 years old is a great, great age for cowboy boots. You'll pro you think you're done growing uh, yet? Uh, still, I mean, if you could own a pair of cowboy boots since you were 13 years old to just see how long they last, that would be a super interesting thing. But I think my foot still was growing at 13 years old. I wouldn't be surprised. Where's that? Here it is. So I'm uh, just going to treat my boots here while we're hanging out. Take care of my... my uh, my Abilene's here. You guys excited for that Abilene giveaway? Oh, I'm so excited to see who wins that. Just not your style? You like the more subdued colors, yeah. 16 years old, damn. Jeez. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They are different, right? Governor, do you have any that are that are like uh, when we didn't talk? There's so many things that we could talk about with uh, cowboy boots. Uh, do you have any that are like colored or blue or you know I don't know green even? Oh, dude, we got some more links here. We got some more links coming through. You guys. Oh my gosh. Did I show this? Where's the chat? John BS. Blue ostrich. Who I would love those. You know, I like the ostrich look and then with like the, the turquoise shaft. Uh, or something like that. I, I really like tan ostrich with a tur turquoise shaft. Snakeskin boots. I'm all for it, man. I tried. I tried a pair on once. Um, loved it, but I wasn't in. I wasn't in the store to buy boots that day. I, I was in to help my friend get boots, so I didn't get them. And the next time I walked in, I, I walked out with a pair of Caymans. So I completely passed over the rattlesnakes. But man, they were so comfortable. Cowboy boots aren't just high heels. No way. No way. They're jealous. They're insecure with something that they got going on. So, you know, whatever. Yeah, they could, they could, I mean, everybody do the rock, do the cowboy boots, right? They can all rock them. So they, maybe they should just do it. You've seen the red. Oh yes. Red boots. I was talking with a guy, uh, yesterday, Jim, and he said, that his first pair of cowboy boots were bright red. Could you imagine that? How cool would that be to have as your first pair of cowboy boots? Bright red cowboy boots. Oh. Nice. All right, I got to get these Lucases in here. Lots of chat going on. Lots of chat. Lots of chatter. It's uh, dirt, dirt head riding. We got we got a we got some Lucases to look at here, dude. Stepping up the link game, that's what I'm talking about. Where is it? Where is it? Is that it? Yeah, there it is. Nice, dude. That looks so good. Zoom up, zoom up. Yeah. Oh, dude. Wait, that's a black cherry. I didn't notice it at first. Wow. I, are you getting black cherry? I think black cherry is such a beautiful color. I might have got the black cherry when I was last at Davis Trailer World, but the black cherry differed from the one that I saw on the shelf. I, I wanted that really crisp, sharp uh, black cherry, like was on the shelf and what you got here. But... That wasn't that wasn't the case when I pulled it out of the box. It was like a new a new model, which is crazy that they do that, right? 
it's crazy that they change the models up like that so often. Uh, Governor Brown and I were just ranting about it. Because <clears throat> I, I probably would have walked out of that, that, uh, that store with those black cherries instead of the ostriches. Because I really want a black cherry, a nice black cherry boot. This is a great boot, Dirthead. Yeah, I'll try to save these links. Yeah, I'll make a list. I'll go, uh, I think that they'll always be here, but yeah, I'll make a list afterwards. Uh, they should always show up in the in future videos, but uh, when I stop, I'll be sure to try to save them. I've never tried it before in while it's happening, so I'll do my best to save all these links, and I'll make like a, a, a list someplace. Yeah, these boots, I didn't realize it, but they needed... They need some they need some treatment. Yeah, it's time. Man, these look so much better after the after the uh Big 4. I'm going through this Big 4 like nuts. It, it's so great, but I I want to try some other stuff too eventually. Uh so I'll probably go and I'll try some uh some other kind of conditioner next just so just so I know what other ones are like. Uh and find my find my favorite. Plus, it's more more videos that I can make for you guys too. Link time and see hobbies is back in the house. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We ready? We ready? Oh no way! Python print. No, and it's got a little toe. Woo! Okay, okay. I see what you're going for with these. Nice. <laughs> Epic. All right, let's let's look at these other ankle, these other angles here. Dude, that's slick. I like the toe. That's a good. That's a good print. Cool, man. <laughs> Epic. Yeah, I, th I think harness boots count. Don't they look good? They look great. All right, let's see what we got here. These are harness boots, huh? Chippewa, yeah, yeah, those are great, man. Those are cool. I love that look. You know, I, I want a pair of, of harness boots, and, and when I get a pair of harness boots, uh, I, I also want them to be pointy, right? You know what, you know what I really like uh, in harness boots? These, these are spectacular. Uh, and it's got that pointed toe that I just love when it comes to harness boots. I don't know what it is about harness boots, but I like harness boots with a really pointy toe. Those, those are are uh, are super amazing to me. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up I'm gonna pull up a link too. Those those are super cool, man. Let me see what I got here. Boom, boom, boom. You guys are the best. This is fun. Da, da, da. <laughs> These ones. These these are the ones that I like here. I, I like this harness look. Super pointy toe. Super pointy toe. Harness there. And it's a Sendra, so it's got that super underslung heel. Like, if I was to get a Sendra, I would get this boot. I would totally get this boot. Um, just because of how angular it is. It looks very uh, sharp, right? And you got uh, uh, the, the harness there, too. I'm, I dig this look. I dig it. All right, we got some more here. There's, yeah. He, 
Yeah, I I wasn't so much a fan, but then when people started sharing them and I saw them more with the more pointed toe, I was like, that's the kind of harness that I want. Okay, we got Super Farmer. Super Farmer sent us a link. Let's do it. All right. Guys, this is so much fun. I can't even focus on cleaning my boots. Yes. Yes. I love the blue shafts on these, man. Oh. Oh. This is, this is what I'm talking about. The tan ostrich or like a pecan ostrich with some blue or turquoise tops. I think that this looks so good. So They're so outlaw. <laughs> wow. You guys are on point with your style today. This is great. Man, I love that look of the blue, of the blue shafts. On, on ostriches. Mm. So good. So good. <sighs> so outlaw. Yeah. The, you think that that sharp heel is hard to walk in? Um, it does look, it does look different. The Sendra heel looks so much different. Um, I'm not sure how I would feel about it when I when I put it on. I've never tried anything like that, but that's why I want to try it. Is because I've never tried anything like it. It's very different from uh, anything that I have, and anything that ever that I've ever worn. I've never tried Sendra's, but if I was to try one, it would be that because it is different on every level. I've never tried a harness boot. I've never tried a boot that pointy, and I've never tried a heel that's that underslung and sharp looking. So, I, you know, I would kind of just like to get it all over with in one go, and plus I think they look sharp. They look so sharp. But I don't know what it would be like to walk in them either. All right, another link coming through here. One second, just let me put this down. I think those are pretty much good. I'll probably do waterproofing on them too. Because why not? Ooh, lots of, lots of links coming in here. Okay, I'm going to get one at a time now. Uh, if you guys... Oops, what happened? Oh, here it is. All right, our web 82 let's do this thing. No way! Full quill, ostrich tobacco. Wow! Get this header out of the way. We can't... There we go. Wow! That looks so good. Those quills pop. Those quills really pop. I don't know if you guys can hear me okay. I'm going to try to turn up a little bit more. Um, let, me know if the, let me know if the volume gets weird. Uh, wow. Just wow, man. Plus those pull-on straps. Where's the zoom? Look at this, guys. Look at that. Look at the detail on these pull straps here. Look at that detail. You got some ostrich overlaid with, uh, just, uh, cowhide there in that spear. Oh. R web. Wow. Jeez, the style there. They come with a belt? Wow. Tobacco ostrich looks so good. All right, what do we got next? NC Hobbies. Here we go. Here we go. Got another one from NC Hobbies. Yeah, that looks so good. Stellar boot. What do we got next? Okay, what's this? Cultured Cowboy. Which, which boot were you looking at for this, NC? Which one? I mean, they all look so good. Look at this white one for the Cayman. What? Military green Cayman boots. Look at these colored boots. This is why you sent me this page, isn't it? This is why. Look at those boots. That blue one is so blue. I don't. Maybe I think the blue shaft might be a little much for me. I kind of like how that green one is built a little bit more, but that is so blue. 
Wow, that is stunning. I think that may, might be a little bit much for me, but that green one is calling my name. You got some, what is this, a, a, like a purplish brown? There's another super blue. Wow. NC. Epic. <laughs> the blue, I knew that's why you sent me that one. I knew it. You're like, oh, you like blue boots here? Try these ones. You're like, wow, so much blue. <laughs> Those white ones are so classy. <laughs> All right, what we got next? We got one from, from Bean Lord here. Let's see, let's see where to go. Here it is. Justin Boots coming through with Justin. Here we go. All right. Ooh, nice look. Nice look. It looks it looks almost like it's kind of worn already it's uh let's see what does this say uh featuring go yep golden tan distressed leather uh and that's the, the upper that they're talking about here upper accented pattern of chocolate crazy balance foot the boot is ready to ride i don't know anything about the j flex comfort system it sounds nice. What do you guys think about the J Flex comfort system? I haven't I don't have any I don't have any experience with that. Cool souls there. Cowhide. Dude, awesome. Awesome boot. Love it. What's next? Yeah, you're going to change your opinion because the blue ones were so bl blue. You're like, oh, I don't want to see any more color on boots anymore. Or are you going to change your color because or change your opinion because you like that color? That's what I want to know. This is a, a hat from uh, St. Bridges Brewery, which is a, a place in uh, Moses Lake, Washington. They they make they make their own beer there, of course, but they also sell uh, these really cool sausages and hot dogs. Uh, like uh, they're not like regular hot dogs that you would get at the grocery store or anything. But uh, I play I played there on tour, and they gave me this hat. Uh, I played there a couple times. Uh, if you want to see what it's like, I got a couple of videos. Uh, just search my channel for Moses Lake or St. Bridges Brewery, and you'll see me there. I got the uh, ostrich. Ostrich on right now. Uh, okay, so what was the next one? Culture Cowboy. I think that was the last link that you guys sent me, right? Am I, am I all caught up? The Justins. Cowboy Culture. Yeah, cool. Yeah, these are great boots. Great boots. Epic, guys. Epic. They looked great. Boots. Yeah, I want some more colorful boots one day, too. Let's go back. Let's go back to that one. NC, NC you, uh, you started something here. Let's go back to this, to this, uh, this website. I'm going to bring it back. One second, one second. Here we go. I got to press this button here. I got this system that is just crazy. There's so many different moving parts here, but that's how I can make this so cool. Yes. Back up on the page with culturedcowboy.com if anybody is interested. The link is in the chat. But after this stream, I will collect all the links of the boots that we talked about. Uh, and I'll just either put them in the description or I'll put them someplace. I'll probably just put them in the description. That's probably the best place uh, instead of everybody having to search through the chat the whole time. Those blue boots. I wish I wish we could make this bigger. I uh, wish we could. Maybe I can. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm just going to. It's going to be a little bit distorted, but. Here it is, a little bigger. That looks so good. 
but those those green ones those military green ones i just love that that blue pops man jeez you are making a statement with those boots what do they say here blue jean color came in tail came in tail foot uh pointed toe it's a j toe slightly underslung so that's pretty regularly regularly one thousand dollars now four hundred dollars would would you guys pay one thousand dollars for this boot i don't think i would i think they're lying i think they're lying we got some more from victor here victor's next You really dig? Oh, oh man, suede! Are you kidding me? You put some suede cendras in the house. Love it. That's not as pointy. I thought that they were gonna be pointy. That's not as pointy as the cendras usually are, is it? Do you like? Do you like this point? Like this, uh, short, smaller square toe, which is kind of similar to the snip toe, right? Uh. Or do you like the super pointy Sandras? Next to the blue ones, they were so cool. Oh yeah, yeah. You got you got to get new boots if that's happening. Uh, and you wanted those Laredos, right? That's gonna be a good boot. That's gonna be be a good boot. We got another one from Bean Lord here. Let's do it. Those suede, those suede. Chet Hanks just bought a pair of Crocs for thirteen hundred bucks. I wish I could. I wish I could drop that on some Crocs. Wait, are you talking about crocodile skin boots? Are you talking about the Crocs like those shitty rubber shoes that people wear? If you if you say it's those. Crocs, those kind of Crocs, and it was thirteen hundred dollars. Now I'm, I'm about, I'm about ready to go crazy if that's what's going on here. Somebody spent thirteen hundred dollars on those Crocs, not crocodile skin boots. Governor Brown, you keeping me too much in suspense now. I need to know. Okay, okay, boots, good to know. <laughs> I was about to go crazy there for a second. If you were about to say the Crocs that just people wear when they're taking the garbage out or something. <laughs> hey, I mean, if you want to wear Crocs, that's cool. Like, I don't care what you wear. But it, it, there comes a point when I just have to wonder about your sanity if you're spending $1,300 on something that should cost ten dollars at most. Whew. Wow, I was all wound up there for a second. <laughs> Lucasi's giant gator. What? What? Look at these. Oh, I love the look. Wow. Where's that plus? Is that all it goes up to? Okay, there we go. Look at the detail. Look at the detail. Look at that. This is a great link, man. It is $1,000, though. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Whew. Hmm. It depends on how it felt, I get, I guess. Depends on how it feels. No way. And there's no way. It's worth it. I wish I had $1,000 for that. I wish it did. I want to try them. I want to try them on. You think they just let people try them, try a $1,000 boot on if they know they're not going to be able to buy them? I, I, I kind of want to just try them on. There's no way. There's no way I would be able to afford those. It's just not happening. Whew. 
Man. Hanging out with you guys is not good for my checkbook. <laughs> I just want all these new boots all the time. Just want them all the time. Yeah. Wish I did. Wish I had that. That would be so much fun. Just trying out different kinds of boots all the time. You know, there's this guy uh, on the Cowboy Boot Group, uh, Mitch Mitch Buckner. And he buys and sells cowboy boots to uh, sort of make it so that he can uh, afford to find the ones that he likes. So he, he goes around and he searches for uh, vintage cowboy boots. And he's an expert. He knows different brands just by the look of the design and he even knows which custom boot maker who may not be completely mainstream he knows that too just by the look of the boot and he flips the boots so that he can get uh cool pairs for himself too but then he'll sell them too so uh he he has just a wealth of knowledge and an amazing etsy boot page amazing Uh-oh, here we go, NC Hobby's back in the house with another link. What we got here? Lizard! Oh! I love the cap on the toe, too. Dude, those are slick. You got a uh, toe cap a little on, on the heel ridge there. On the spur ridge, I mean. Sorry. Dude, that's quality. That looks really good. That looks good. And they're lizard print, and they don't even look like it. Those, look at this. Look at that. I guess maybe you could see like right in here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see my mouse. Maybe in a, some portions you can kind of tell that it's print, but you got to look real close. And if that's the look that you want, who cares if it's print or not? That looks so good. I love Lizard, the, the texture and look of Lizard. It's just so clean looking, you know? Nice. You know, you know, Misho, Misho I, I bet they are. Because they, they only make one kind of, of regular uh, cowhide black boots, pretty much. I think they're the, pretty much the same one. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll grab them one second. I just got to finish up this treatment. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised at all. NC Hobbies. That would, that's, a, that's a great boot right there. Are you thinking about that one? All right, I think this one's pretty much done. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna turn the the uh, other the other screen off real quick so I can get a full view of this uh, this boule. This is my black boule. Check the stitching in the in the in the shaft here. It's very uh, very sharp and kind of different from my other boulets. I wouldn't be surprised if they're the same thing. There's the stitching on the vamp. You got the same ones? Let me know. I do like the look of this boot. I really do. That's the pair. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Congratulations. You know, it didn't take long. Uh, oh, it's so tough to decide when, how long it takes for a boot to be broken in. I was talking about this with, with one of you guys uh, earlier this week. Oh, and I was talking with Aaron about it. And um, sometimes... It takes a little bit longer, but 
when you forget about trying to break it in and the boot just feels good and then you put it on and you're like, oh, wow, this is actually broken in. But you have to stop wearing it for like a week or two. And then you put it back on and you say, wow, okay, I guess this boot is broken in now. But you don't really think about it because once they're broken in, you just completely forget about it. It's just the way that it's supposed to be. Until you actually put on that boot again after not wearing it for a little bit, do you know that it's broken in? So it's really hard to say. I, I want to do a video sometime to try to make that a little bit more clear about when a boot might be broken in or not, how long. But for me, I just don't know. I've never kept track because by the time I I know, it's it's been like six months. And that's way too long, right? Because I just don't think about it. Is it wrong wearing another guy's boots? Sydney. Sydney asks. No, it's not wrong. Uh, I, I just bought a pair of uh, thrift, thrift store boots. That somebody else already wore. Uh, people are selling their boots all the time. Uh, or if you want to do boot swaps. I was talking with uh, one of you guys this week about boot swaps too. So if... If you want to trade boots with somebody for a specific pre, um, you know, you guys talk about it ahead of time and however long you want to trade those boots for, this this is something that happens. People trade boots for like two weeks, maybe a couple of months at a time, and then you just trade back. It's a great way to figure out what kind of styles you like, what kind of uh, exotic skins you like, and what kind of... Uh, toe shape what kind of heels like you could trade boots with somebody and and figure out exactly what you like without spending money on trying to figure it out yourself and 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 invest in all this money you know so it's a great opportunity i didn't even know that was a part of the boot community until just recently until just this week i i don't think that for me it's something that i want to do because as getting back to the breaking in a boot thing for me I really like to get a boot and break it into my foot. And I feel like if I'm swapping boots with somebody for an extended period of time, I am going to ruin the way that I've broken that boot in for me, right? I mean, you guys saw that one video of me sticking the uh, the camera down into my boot and you could see how broken in it, it, broken in it was to my foot, right? So that's just something that's really important to me because I know how comfortable a broken in boot uh, for one specific person can be. And I, I don't want to risk that. So boot swapping isn't for me for that reason, but I, have, I don't think there's anything wrong with it uh, if, you don't, if you don't mind that. He threw them out and never paid you. What? That's a crazy friend. Friends don't do that to other people's boots. What is that all about? You gotta treat them. That's what I'm doing right now. To prevent the cracking in the leather, you gotta treat them with conditioner. So something like this. Let's see if the camera will focus. Bic 4 here. Um, and then I also am using this. This is another kind of conditioner. This is waterproofing, snowproofing, and it just is a different kind. Uh, that also helps uh, keep the water and other types of things out of the leather. So you just gotta you just gotta condition it. But sometimes it's gonna happen anyways. My boots cracked because I didn't have conditioner with me when gas spilled on them. So it, you know sometimes it happens. Uh, and boots have lasted surprisingly long for me after they've cracked it. Mine are still going. It's just, they look rough and beat up, which is cool because that's what they are. It just shows how durable the cowboy boot can be. All right, so what do we think of leathers like elephant leather and other exotic? Do they pose any ethical considerations for you? This is a great question and I've actually been thinking a lot about this recently um, a lot because I am super interested in the elephant skin and 
what it means, right? One, it's a super tough leather, right? And I want to see what that feels like in a boot. I've never tried elephant skin. And I am curious to see what that's like. And I've been thinking about how that affects poaching and some of the other environmental concerns because elephants are on the endangered list. Now, the way that Lucchese and Justin's or whoever else is making elephant skin boots, they came across those elephant skin boots in a legal manner. Um, there, I'm not sure exactly off the top of my head which uh, location the elephants come from, but the way that they were able to obtain those elephant skins uh, was from a domestic elephant reserve that got overpopulated. So they had to hunt the elephants to keep the population down in this specific reserve. Uh, and then all sales of the elephant skins then go through the United Nations to make sure everything is on point and legal and nothing sketchy is going on. And that's why top brands like Lucchese are able to get their hands on elephant skins. Uh, but what does that mean to society and culture when you just wear elephant skin boots out? Like what do people perceive that as? Uh, well, I don't really care what people think, but how does that come across if you are concerned about how elephants are treated today, presently, across the world, and you're wearing elephant cowboy boots, does that make you a hypocrite? Does, it, does that make you a hypocrite? And that's where I am struggling right now. And that's why I'm talking with as many people as possible, specifically about elephant skins, because I am trying to figure that out ethically for myself as well. Yeah, I'm super interested in this elephant leather um, topic. It's just part of the wear. Okay. All right, we got another link here from NC Hobbies. What do we got? Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Going over to bootbarn.com. Dude. What are you doing? You're bringing the boulets out. What? We got boulets in the house. Oh, wait. Where the hell? What? I got to find the right link. One second. Here it is. Boulets in the house. This is great. The Challenger. So I thought the Challenger was uh I thought the Challenger was the Roper. What is that? What is the uh I thought that but still this is a great boot. Two hundred bucks, that's not a bad price for the quality here. Uh, I wish they had more pictures. They don't have any other pictures. Who who gave this boot a one star? Who gave this boot a one star? Let's see here. Let me read what they had to say about this boot and give it a one star. I ordered I ordered a pair before and they sent the wrong ones. So in frustration, I bought the boulets. They were soft and they were scuffed, compressed at the ankle. Had to stuff them to bring the ankle back out. There was a pen mark on the heel, and I'm waiting for the first pair I ordered. Expected more quality. So this is more of a problem with Boot Barn than it is with Boulet. Nice boot. Nice boot. I would, I would own this. I think this is the one I actually have, but it's so <laughs> broken in. It actually looks like it. The shaft is pretty much the same. This looks very similar to the one that I already have. Except it's just beat. B. 
beat. Man, you want to see what what this boot looks like in uh, 10 years after miles, hundreds of thousands of miles on them. Jeez. That's what, that's what my boulets are. Yes, the money does go back in. The money, we're going, getting back on the elephant uh, topic. When you buy elephant skin to make boots, the sale of those elephant skins to the company, uh, like Lucchese, when they buy that, that sale goes back to help preserve elephants and uh, how they are treated uh, to help keep poaching out. So yeah, that is part of it. Thank you for reminding me. I, I completely f skipped on that. Um, still, the question is there for me. It's still an ethical concern. I, I don't know if that completely solves everything yet. That's why I'm talking with as many people as possible to sort out my own thoughts about it. That's, that's why you want to talk to a whole bunch of different people uh, when, you're, when you're thinking about trying something new, whether it's like cowboy boots or um, you know, anything, right? You just want to, you, if you're thinking about it and you're sort of debating, you're like, eh, just talk with people. Not, not to hear their opinion on it, but to hear different perspectives to help you understand what you're thinking, to help you think about it. One of the ways that helps me think about things, and that's why I want to talk to as many people about elephant boots, is just by talking with them. It helps me think. I think that's what I have, NC. Um, yeah, I think that's what I have. They're they're uh, they're in the other room now. They're by the door because I I wear those the most. I wear them the most. Oh my gosh, I love those boots. You know, we we could talk about Tacovas. We could talk about you know different kinds of exotics. But god damn it, a first boot is. A one true love, especially when they have so many miles on it, just like that boot does. Oh, man, you can't beat that feel. You can't beat it. The ones I spill gasoline on. Okay, I'll, go, I'll just go grab them real quick. Uh, I'm, we're going to do a musical interlude break. I'm just going to go grab them. So these are my first boots. These are the ones I spill gasoline on. So you can see here the cracks. This is the cracked leather that we were talking about before. Um, cracked leather. This happens from gas. This happens from salt. This happens throughout a whole bunch of different things, okay? A lot of different things will make leather do this. Uh, also, a lot of uh, just not treating it or... Uh, if, it, if, it, if they get wet and you don't, uh, then condition them. So condition as much as possible to keep this from happening. <clears throat> These are also the, uh, the, a similar style to, to the link here. It's a very, a very similar style. Let me see if I can fit this in here, Tetris style. Very similar style, right? The shaft stitching is the same, okay? They do have the dark heel. Mine may have been that color when, uh, when I got them, but uh, through polishing and cracks and just time, they got darker.
So. Elephant, yeah, I'll look I'll look up some elephant boots here. Alright, Sydney. Sydney coming through with some Sendras. Dude, here we go. Here we go. Which one is it? I think it's this one. What? Black Cherry again! Yes, I love the Black Cherry look. Nice. Nice boot. Let's get a look let's get a look better look. See that's the heel that we're talking about. That's that classic Sendra heel. They do that super underslung. Man. Oops. There's that toe. There's the Sendra, Sendra pointed toe. That's what I like. That is so pointy. I, I'm, I'm interested in it. I kind of want a boot like this, uh, but with the harness. That's that's what I want. Looks so good. Nice, nice one, Sydney. Bean Lord coming in with some uh, some links here. Suede Harness from Chippewa coming up. Ooh, heel cap. Heel plates. Cool. You like that look? The heel guard on these, uh, on those suede, suede boots. I think that would be cool. Especially when especially if you're going to be doing a lot of driving so i could see these uh not only looking good but also being very practical uh one of the things that uh i've noticed with my boots is that when you drive you get a lot of wear let me see let me make sure you guys see this a lot of wear right here on the heel Okay, this happens when you drive a lot. And I can see that heel cap being a, a huge deal when it comes to protecting your boots if you drive uh, a lot. And I'm talking about like days on end. But be because I did so much driving in these boots while I was on tour, uh, and, I and I'll be doing more driving in them, is that they get this little area because you have your foot on the ground on the pedal, uh, and the part, this part of the boot is on the, on the ground where all the stones and just dirt and stuff lies. So you're doing this all the time and you're just wearing this down. So I could see that being a huge deal if you drive a lot. You guys wanna see a difference here between, uh, between the two, you can tell, look it. See, you can tell which one I've, I've, uh, is my main driving foot and which one's not, right? So that's part, that's part of the character when it comes to boots, but it, it happens, you know? And this would keep that from happening. It really would. So um, if you're thinking about suede, suede can be, can be tough to take care of and keep looking good. So yeah, I think that would be a smart move. I think that would be a smart move. Not only look good, but it would be good for driving too. You're gonna really, you're gonna really protect your boots if you drive a lot. Do you think it would be when? When do you think it would be okay to wear ostrich boots? I think it's more of a special occasion. Uh, and I'm about to head to college. I think ostrich boots would be great for college. Yeah, why not? Why not? They're they're one of the toughest leathers going. Uh, they 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 probably could deal with college. Could take a college takes a really uh, big beating on boots. That's that's another thing, right? So <laughs> if you if you don't want to crack your boots, make sure you condition your boots after the parties too, because beer and 
vodka and a whole bunch of nasty crap is just going to fall on your boots when you're at those parties. It really will. And it, it, like parties t- take a horrible beating to boots. People step on your boots. Never wear a pair of boots that you love to a college party. Never. Unless it's your like go-to all-the-time pair. People will step on them and they will make you angry because they stepped on your boots. For real. Like, just take this advice from me right now since you're going to college. Condition before you polish, Victor. Condition before you polish. If you think about it, so when you polish, uh, you are creating this layer of wax over top of the boot, right? Which is going to protect it somewhat from everything that it's going to get hit with for a while. So... When you protect, when you're doing that and you're protecting the boot from everything from the outside, you wax it. And then if you think about conditioning it after, none of that condition is going to get through that wax to actually help the leather. So you got to condition first so the leather stays healthy. And then think of the wax as the final cap to protect everything, uh, to protect the leather from everything that comes through, weather, dirt, you know. All that other stuff, and plus making making it look really good. Yeah, I think I would consider mink oil conditioner. I, that's all I used to use. That's all I used to use on my on on these boots before before <laughs> before I I got uh, gasoline on them. And if I was close to the treatment that I had at that moment. Uh, it would have been mink oil. I would have treated them with mink oil uh, after after the gas or Lexol or if I had Bic 4. But yeah, I've, I've used mink, mink oil before. I, I would count that as conditioner. What about, what about anybody else? Uh, what about anybody else? I, I could be wrong, but I've used it as conditioner before. Yeah, I'm told. Where, where are you at in Ohio? All right, so we got Sydney coming through with another link here. Boot Barn. Here we go, here we go. Oh, nice, okay. We got some Steel Toe Engineer boots in the house. These look tough. These look like they would be able to handle winter with a breeze. Wow. Jeez, these are tough looking. Wow, those are tough looking. Yeah, wear wear Crocs to the parties. <laughs> it is it is annoying when people step on your boots because you know that they're they're scuffed, especially right after you polished them up and they look really nice. Oh. Mink oil will darken your boots. It will darken your boots. Yep, no no question about it. It will. How's it going, Canuck? How's it going? Just reading through all your, your comments here, just catching up. I went on a rant there for for college parties for a second. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Beast in the house. How's it going? Good to see you. Chippewa. You got a pair of Chippewas? Uh, the Chippewa Engineer Steel Toe? You got a pair of those? Cleveland. Cleveland in the house.
That's what I'm talking about. Dude, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pumped. This is a, this is a very cool opportunity. And the, the, uh, the community here is amazing. You got, you, you get your, you get your cowboy boots? What do you think? It's five, it might, it might be a little bit more than five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta get one. Oh, that reminds me, Beast. I was just talking with my buddy from Cleveland, uh, Colin from Colin Can Help. Uh, he's on Anchor too, and he found this really cool cowboy boot shop in Cleveland, or just outside of Cleveland, and it's called Oh, geez, Clippity Clop Incorporated. What a ridiculous name for a cowboy boot shop, but now I have to go there because it just sounds so ridiculous. Clippity Clop Incorporated. It's a physical location and they sell cowboy boots. <laughs> you gotta, if you go, if you go there before I do, let me know how it is. Cause I'm super curious. Clippity Clop Incorporated. It's a store name. Yeah, wow. These engineer boots, they look like they could handle anything. Oldie but a goodie. Thank you so much for joining the group and for subscribing. You guys are the best. Uh, I want to do more of these live things more often. This is so much fun just hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much. You got a link, oldie but a goodie? You got a link to those? Those sound very good. You have three pair. Your favorite pair are the Silver Rebel, uh, Rebel Brown Cherry Brown Toe Collar Boots. I want to see. Send a link to uh, where we can see where we can get these if we like them. All right, let me see if I can find any of these elephant boots. Yeah, these elephant elephant is is really interesting to me right now. Jeez, there was a pair. Oh, who was it? Who was it? I saw a pair the other day. I haven't been saving links though because they're like eight hundred dollars, right? Man, the elephant boots are so expensive as they should be. It just makes sense. Um, but I can't torture myself like that. We went to a country concert and the amount of people there with great looking boots was insane. Dude, who'd you go see? Who'd you go see? Yeah. People, people buy country... People buy boots just to go to country concerts. <laughs> that's the only reason. Uh, that's that's a whole part of the the cowboy boot community is um, those people just on the edge who are just in it just so that they can go to the con the country concerts <laughs> and then and then they never wear them anywhere else. They don't know what they're missing, do they? I don't usually wear Western hats. I have a leather hat, um, a leather. It's like more of an Australian outback. It's a wide brim. I don't know if you could call it a cowboy hat. I, I don't, I, I'm not a cowboy hat kind of guy. Uh, it's just not my style. Um, I feel like I look a little, a little out of place in them. I, I, I never grew up with cowboy hats. They weren't around me. I didn't grow up with cowboy boots either, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just not a fan of the of the cowboy hat. I just I don't feel it. I'm not feeling it. I like felt wide brimmed hats and the leather wide brim hat, but those huge ten gallon Stetsons, uh, I don't think that's for me. I just don't. But I don't I don't think badly of anybody who does. I'm just kind of jealous because they can pull it off. I just don't feel like I can. I'm 
Little Big Town, cool. Way to go. Nice. Midland, cool. That must have been a, a, an awesome time. What a great band. It's like a jersey. It's like a what's like a jersey beast. Yeah, I want to come. I won't come. I uh, I'm gonna be there for a little bit, so we can definitely get together. Uh, I'm gonna be there around the middle to end of April, in in the Cleveland area. So yeah, we can we can meet up. Another link here coming through. I have no feelings about the Confederate flag one way or another. I have, I support, I support people doing what they want to do. I support the freedom of, free, freedom of speech. That's what I support. But I have no feeling about the Confederate flag one way or another. It doesn't offend me. It doesn't make me feel good. Uh, it's just sort of whatever. It's like just there. So it's not, it's not a passion point for me. Something happened with that link. You gotta, you gotta send me that link again in a different way. It's not working. Oh, I got it. Ooh, this is a nice hat. We got some hats in there now. Cool hat, man. Whoo! Nice. <laughs> I like it. Cowboy boots at the concert. It's like, oh, it's like a jersey to a football game. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It is kind of like that, isn't it? Let's see here. Sometimes, sometimes they say, "Hey, hey, cowboy," because you wear because you wear boots or because you wear a hat. Yeah, I, 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 I like to look at hats for practical reasons, right? And of course, I'm saying that while wearing a hat indoors, which is not practical at all. But <laughs> for the most part, I like hats because they uh, block rain, they block sunlight. And then other than that, I really don't care about it. Like I was walking my dog earlier, and it's sunny out today, one of the a few times that it is or or was it's getting dark now um and that's that's why i wear a hat because it's sunny right you might get it yeah why not yeah keep them in your pocket work the camera oh i could see that I could see that being a huge benefit if you're a photographer and you wear a wide-brimmed hat, especially if you get a little one and you can keep it safe from the rain while taking pictures. I could see that that would be that would be really cool. Good point. Good point. Is it compete in rodeos? Are you, do you compete? That is really cool. What do you what uh, what do you compete in? Which Which ones? We got another link here. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sure. I could. I could get down with a little shorter brim here. It's a fedora. Wow. That can really pack up like that. Woo. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah. Keeps the rain off. No doubt. No doubt. I got a I got a blue hat that's kind of like this, this fedora. It's got some feathers. It's kind of fancy. I kind of like that look, um, but I don't wear it. I don't wear it frequently. You 
started started with sheep riding, moved to calf riding and such. Oh, dude, bull level. That sounds tough. That sounds really hard. You think you're going to get it, Victor? Here we go. Oldie but a go goodie. Oldie but a goodie. That's what I'm talking about. Coming through with the link. Let's see what we got here. Been waiting for this. Nice. Oh, man. Where's the toe? Where's the picture of the toe, though? Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Wow. These are the ones that you have now? It's like this black... The black cherry color of this is amazing. Wow. <laughs> Hat of the Month Club. I don't know. I don't know if I know enough about hats. I only got the the two hats. I'm not <laughs> cowboy boots are almost too much for me to get into, especially now with talking about all the cowboy all the cowboy boot fans and all the cowboy boot enthusiasts and experts out there. It's like there's so much to know. I I can't even it's even hard for me to do music and stuff too. At the same time, it's like there's so much. This it gets so detailed. I couldn't imagine trying to go for another hat thing because or another topic like hats because even that has a rabbit hole. All, there's all these rabbit holes and I just want to know every, all the history behind it. You got that hat. Congrats. Congrats, Victor. All right, you got some. We got some belts coming in here. What do you guys think about this? I love this. I love this black cherry boot. Jeez, look at that color. That's incredible. It looks great. What do the soles look like on this? If they're selling it. What? They must have had. They must have just resold it. I got to. I'm telling you this right now. They must, this must be a new whole resole and a heel because if you look at this, look at down here. It's got a little gouge out of the toe. So this, this boot has more wear on it than you would come to believe by looking at that sole. All right. I'm telling you that right now. Be careful when you guys buy stuff on eBay because this, this looks good and it looks new because the soles are they are new, but that's because it was resold. You look at the rest of the boot, there's a scuff right there. This this boot is 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 has seen some miles. I'm telling you. I don't trust that. I like the boot, but I don't I don't trust the what they're trying to do here. Although it is only 30 bucks. Like, are you kidding me? With that with that soul and I think it's worth it <laughs> for thirty bucks. I think that's worth it. <laughs> now, if it was like if they're trying to sell it for seventy or a hundred, maybe not. But for thirty, <sighs> okay, maybe I was just being a little bit too hard on them. I'm maybe so. <laughs> All right, we got some. Oh, the belt, the belt. Forgot. I went on. I went on a tangent there. Here's the belt. What do you guys think about this? It looks like a different kind of belt buckle than what I'm used to. I like the belt buckles that just sort of clip. Uh, but that's cool. I like that belt buckle. If that came, if that came as an interchangeable belt buckle like the ones that I have, I would probably get it. It looks cool. All right, what else we got here? Shepler's in the house. Eli bringing Shepler's. Nice. Cowboy boots don't always run true to size. Um, 
It depends on what brand you get, Beast. It uh, it really does. So uh, some boots will run small and some boots uh, will run large. I know Fry Cowboy Boots, that runs more regular to the way that dress shoes are. Also Tacovas. Those Tacovas back there, they'll they'll tell you to put in your dress shoe size. Uh, and that's very true. But for other boots, like my Boulets and my Abilene's, I gotta go a half step down from what I usually do in dress shoes or sneakers. Uh, it's just the way that boots are made. And then on top of that, you gotta think about different toe styles and um, and how wide your foot is. It, it really depends on the maker. Uh, Aaron Watson, I was talking with him the other day, and he said that uh, he's a regular 10 and a half D. Uh, D is average foot width. And he tried on a pair of 12 double A's, which would be long and thin, and they fit him like crazy, like really well. So it really depends on who's making them. It really does. Oh yeah, we got we're on the Shepler's link here. Shepler's in the house. What? Black cherry crocodile belly. Look at the cording in the shaft here. Look at that. Can we zoom up? Where's the zoom? There it is. Look at that. Look at the cording. That is so awesome. Then you got the amazing crocodile belly here. I love the look of that, guys. I love the look of Cayman or Croc Belly. Just look at that cording on the shaft. That is so amazing. Cool toe. Dude, great link. Great link. Yeah, I like these ostrich boots too. I'm actually wearing them right now. I don't know. I like these a lot. Uh, it's uh, taking a little bit longer to, uh, to break them, to break the insole in, to make them feel like some of my other ones. Um, but we're getting there. We're getting there. That's why I'm wearing them right now because I want that. I want that sort of toe space that uh, that the other ones have. Plastic shoes. Bean Lord coming through with another one. Tin Hall in the house. Yes. Oh, man. Tin Hall makes the most ridiculous boots. Oh. Love it. I love the way they stamp on the outsoles and stuff. I saw I saw this one pair the other day with uh, with money. And it had, it had uh, what did it say? Saw it on yeehawcowboy.com. It was, um, take, take the money and run. And that was printed on the bottom of of the soul take the money and run what and then it had like cash and stuff on the bottom tin hall is great and i like this look i love the look of that buck on the on the soul look at the detail there too hunting hunting club tin hall oh i like how the antler i like how the antler goes into the other soul there so they got a closer view of what the toe looks like because the d detail on that toe is good where's the zoom Look at the detail on this toe. Look at that. Tin Hall boots are pretty cool, but Tin Hall goes all out. They go ridiculous, and that's the reason why you get their boots, because they're ridiculous, and they really make a statement. Love it.
for 30 I, it doesn't matter it, it depends on what the price is go, uh beast uh if they're if they resold them and they try to like put one over on you and try to flip an, a really old pair of boots like if i if i resold this boot i put a new sole on it and shined it up right and i said here's a new boot and i didn't tell you that it's nine years old with thousands of miles on it and i charged one hundred dollars that's kind of that's kind of being a little bit of a you know what it's kind of being a it's kind of trying to pull one over on somebody and i i don't think it happens that often on ebay but i know that it does happen so the price and the way that a boot looks uh compared to the sole you can kind of Get a sense if somebody's trying to pull one over on you. Canada West. Send some links, man. Oh, NC, he, NC Hobby is back in the house with another one. Great links. Great links, guys. Woo! You guys are sending me all the black cherry boots. Man, you must really want me to get some black cherry boots. We can be friends. Yep. NC Hobby send me all the black cherry boots. Dude. Man. This is not good for my bank account, man. You can't be doing this to me. Looks good. Looks good. I probably would want one with a leather sole. I probably want some with leather soles. It also looks like they got the plastic piping on this one that, or the plastic, yeah, piping or the shaft c connector. What are, I don't know what, what it's called. Um, I think the piping is up towards the top of the boot. Um, not sure what the cording is in the middle here is called, I think it's called piping too, but that's plastic piping. And when, when you wear boots like that for a really long time, it starts to crack. I don't know if you guys can see. But that, that starts to crack. And uh, granted, it does take like eight years for that to happen or so. Like it depends on how much you wear them, but a pair of boots like that is just not going to last as long. But I like that. I like that boot. You got to go up. You got to hold. You got to go up a, a half to a whole size in Dan Post. That worries me because I'm thinking about getting some Dan Post. I might have got the wrong size. I'll have to see. I don't know what other countries call them. Victor, you still here? What do you got? What do you what do you call what do you call cowboy boots in Germany? There's the tin holes, man. I do want I do want a custom boot made with my logo on it, eventually. But that would cost thousands of dollars. I'm not in a position where I could do that. It could be the Jordan of cowboy. Boots. I'll have a whole line. I'll have a whole line with my logo on it. Dude, that would be so cool. Maybe someday. I'm not not putting it out of mind. That would be so cool. I would totally love that. You got those cherry ones for your birthday? That's a great that's a great first boot. Bean Bean Lord coming through with a black cherry on a budget to save your black bank account. Let's see what you got for me. Let's see what you got for me. Laredo. Oh, no way. Are you kidding me? Dude. At 120 bucks? I would try these on and consider for real. What, what do we got for a soul here? Neoprene outsole with a one and five eighths cowboy heel. 
One and five eighths. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good. That's a good. Oh, there's the sole right there. You got the the rubber sole. You know, on this look with the the toe cap there, with the with the toes and the and the extra cap on the spur ridge. Maybe I better save that one. Epic. Nice. How's it going, ABN? NC Hobbies. Thank you so much for hanging out. We appreciate you. Great links. Great links. Have an awesome weekend. And uh, I'll see you next time. Call them tin halls. Like K-Swiss. Yeah. Dude, I'd totally do it. Totally do that. NC, NC, have a great weekend. Appreciate you. Thanks for subscribing. What time is it? How long we been on here? Jeez, I don't even know. You guys are so much fun to hang out with. I might need to go and have some food here. I'm starting to lose some brain power. But, oldie, but a goodie coming through with a link. Oldie, but a goodie, are you, are you in uh, England? You send, you send a, a, a dot .co dot .uk. You in the UK? I th we got a question. Uh, okay, nice. Look at these. Little, little children's boots. Man, the tread on these kids' boots are epic. Where's the, where's the zoom? They don't have other pictures, but look at the tread. Why is it not? There it is. Look at the tread. That's for one outgoing youngster right there. You're Canadian. Yeah. So that's your first pair? Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. You probably went on some adventures with those, huh? What bands and artists do I listen to in my free time? Yeah. I like I like to listen to I got a I got a whole bunch of different. Right now, I'm into a lot of outlaw country uh or or just sort of rough rough country like uh, Towns Van Zant and Guy Clark and cuz there's been a lot of conversations around that in the in the cowboy boot group about those two I've been listening to a lot of George Jones recently um but that's just my current kick right now my all-time favorites would be Bob Dylan Jethro Tull which I got the poster back here of Jethro Tull Thick as a Brick one of my favorite albums ever I also like Nick Drake and Tom Waits. Those are my top four. Old West Boots? Yeah, I don't see why not. Send me a link. Send me a link of what you're thinking about. We'll, we'll check them out. When you were 12, you had those... How's it going, Steven? Thanks for joining. Thanks for subscribing. David Allen Co. I don't think I've... Uh, it's not ringing a bell right now. I haven't listened to him before. All right, I'll listen to I'll listen to him tomorrow. Thanks for the link on this, David Allen Co. I'll put it. I'll I'll get it going. I'll get it going, Belor. In fact, I'll look it up right now. I'll look it up right now, and I'll add it to my list to listen to for tomorrow. I do have a record player. I do have a record player, Beast. Um, I need a new... I need a new uh, needle, a cartridge for it. The other one busted, and I went to go get another one at a, a, just a place that I found uh, here, like, just down the street. And I bought one there, and I put it on, I put it on the record player. It just sounded like crap. So I need a better one now. David... 
Alan Co. What what album is the best? What should I start with here? Let me know what to start with. ABN coming through with some Old West boots. Cool. Sounds good. Sounds good, Beast. I look forward to it. Oh, this looks like a great boot. Let's look here. It looks like you do have the plastic... Pu so they, I wouldn't expect them to last as long as some other boots. But for a starter boot, this looks great. Love that. Oh, we just looked at this boot in Black Cherry, too. We just looked at it in Black Cherry. Yeah. This is a good-looking boot. It's, it also looks good in Black... Where was the Black Cherry? Hey, Dell. How's it going? Look at the tread on this this black one, too. This looks good. Nice. Oh, Gary Clark Jr.? Are you kidding me? That's great. I love Gary Clark Jr. Man, he can play. Wow. And sing. The dude is just talented beyond all belief. Eli coming through. What's up? I don't off the top of my head right now. Maybe maybe somewhere over here in this. I have no idea. Oh, is it in the is it in the tape? The tape basket here? I, if there was one place, I bet you it would be there. No. no. Are you making a video? Microphone? I'm alive right now. Oh, okay. Coming through with the Lucases. Ooh. Hornback Cayman Tail. Snip Toe. Wow, that looks good. Wow, nice boot. Nice boot, Eli. Steven coming through with, with an eBay link. Cool. Wow. Vintage, distressed, old gringo. Nice. Wow. Look at that. That's got some wear on it. But it looks great. What do the soles look like? Whoo. Jeez. That's already distressed like that and it has pretty pretty new soles. That's nice. Cool. How much they selling that for? 360, 369? Yeah, nice. That's a cool looking boot right there. John Johnny Cash and Don Denver. Whew. Can't go wrong with those two. You really can't. What? People look at you funny because you like Johnny. Everybody likes Johnny Cash. Everybody likes Johnny Cash. He's a legend. Looks like we're just ready to throw down. <laughs> Those Caymans, yeah. Those Caymans are mean looking. Can't can't beat Johnny Cash. Okay. Tyler, Tyler Childers, White House Road. Okay, I got you. Got it. You got it, Micah. All right, guys. My battery is running low on my camera here, and my uh, stomach is grumbling. But uh, I think I think I'm gonna call it. Uh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and sharing these links. Uh, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are the best, and I'm looking forward to everything uh, and all the boots and everything that we learned together about cowboy boots. Um, I'm an enthusiast. I'm not an expert, so I'm learning constantly about cowboy boots. 
uh, just like a lot of you guys out there. So thank you so much, Bean Lauren, and thank you so much, everybody else. I hope you have a spectacular weekend, and I will see you all on Tuesday for sure with the next boot video. But I will be here on Monday morning as well playing some music. So if you want to jump on live again with me on Monday morning, I'll be here playing some music. Peace, everybody. Have a spectacular weekend.